What's going on everybody? It is Grim here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do lighting on Eevee. Um, but before we do start with that, I want you guys to make sure you're liking the video. Alright, I want you to drop a like in the video. Also, subscribe if you haven't yet. And also turn on noties if that's not done yet. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it everybody. When you're doing lighting in Eevee, it's kind of difficult for newcomers. Like, uh, most people use um, cycles. Um, I'm not really a big fan of cycles. I was uh, when I first started. And I realized like cycles is kind of like training wheels. Um, but once you get into Eevee, it's actually pretty easy. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some uh, a plane down. Because I don't like, I want something to put all my stuff on top of. Um, let me turn textures on. So I'm going to have something to put all my stuff on top of. Uh, I'm going to just make it metallic. Uh, take the roughness off. Just going to be like that, everybody. Uh, well, what does it look like with roughness on? Yeah. We're just going to take roughness off. As you guys can see, we have like a little bit of lighting right here. I mean, it's just it's just a reflection. Okay, so next we're going to do... Um, I'm going to take this out of this file. So lighting... Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is pull out the model you want to use. Uh, I'm just going to pull out a random model. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'm not really going to, I'm not going to pose the character or anything. Um, we'll go with, uh, here, we'll do it with the, uh, hmm, we'll do it with the cuddle team leader. Uh, I think the cuddle team leader is like, I don't know, I haven't done that one. So we're just gonna go with the cuddle team leader. Okay, so your character should just go into the middle. Whatever you're doing, um, it'll lag for a second when you're spawning in the character or loading it in. All right, and I'm just gonna go like that. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is put it into render mode. Um, as you can see, it'll just like you'll won't be, you're only gonna be seeing this, and there's gonna be zero lighting, um, which is fine. You're not supposed to have any lighting yet. Um, first thing we're gonna do, or first thing you're gonna want to do, is come over here, click on Shader Editor, and delete the principled BSDF. We don't need that. And then type in Environment Texture. Drag the color over to the surface and hit Open. And wherever you have your saved HDRI, I will have a link in the description below where you can find HDRIs. It's on my pack. Um, so yeah, you're gonna go to HDRIs. Just gonna pick one. I like going with like either Kiara, uh, Kiara Dawn or like stuff like that. That's what I use usually. But um, for this tutorial, yeah, I'm gonna use Kiara Dawn. For this tutorial, I'll use that. Um, as you can see, uh, the reflection for me will be weird um, only because the texture. Let me fix the texture, everyone. Oh wait, okay, we'll put that back on, I'm, I'm just going to remove the plane actually guys, actually, um, surface, metallic, alright, so we have our character, now what you're going to want to start off, or like what you're going to want to start everything off with, is um, Lighting, add, you're going to want to add, a, uh, first add uh, sunlight, so this is what I usually do. Now this tutorial isn't what everybody else does, but it's what I do. I'm just going to put that up in the sky. We're going to, it's not going to look too good right now. We're going to set that to about like 5. So I'm going to set that to 5. Copy it. You're going to paste it. I'm going to bring this one over. We're gonna put it behind her. See where it's hitting right at her neck? So just like try getting it to where it's hitting her neck. See, now it's hitting her neck. And you're gonna set that, say, a 10. I'm gonna set that to a 10. Then you're gonna wanna go like this. Set that up. We're gonna aim it at her. Drag it down. 
I'm gonna make it go from bottom to top. Again, at her neck. Okay. And I'm gonna set the light. Well, wait, let me fix this one. It's actually, because it's the sun, it's supposed to go like this. All right. Then you're gonna set it to, let's say, a two. You don't want this one set too high. No, wait, it's set on the wrong one. Ten. Okay, five. Let's see how it looks. We'll just go down every each time. Let's try again. Let's put it at one, two. Okay, two looks fine. And um, then uh, in your settings, go over to ambient occlusion. Turn that on. Drag it all the way. Make the distance at a hundred. Trace precision all the way up. So you're gonna want to do. The bloom, add some bloom guys, threshold, you could keep everything the same. Uh, add the intensity to like, I, I put my intensity all the way up. Get as much bloom as possible. Screen reflections on, trace precision on, edge fading, uh, I just turn that all the way off. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. Um, high bit depth on shadows, film, transparent. That's how you get your lighting, everybody. Um, I'm gonna try a different character real quick just to show you guys that it, it looks good for all characters or for most characters. So we're just gonna use a whole other character, append. Let's do, we'll do the. Where's the aura? We'll do uh, uh, we'll do the aura skin. Object. Put, put these in. Drag her down. Drag her down to size. Gonna get back towards hitting her neck. That off. See you guys. Perfect lighting. Um, let me go back to world. Um, oh, it's broken. That's why. I'm going to re-delete this. Environment. Texture. Color to surface. There we go. Kiara Dawn. There we go, everybody. And that's how you do lighting in Eevee. Uh, anytime there is... Here, let's remove these. Anytime you're doing something that has a scene where they're inside, um, I recommend using, let me check, maybe, yeah, maybe Delta, or, let me check these other ones, yeah, probably when you're doing something that involves inside, do approaching storm, and then say you're using lighting, like spotlights, or like, actual lights, like street lights, use the, um, little spotlight here you put a mesh plane so basically what this does is it should set it to 100 so it sets basically a little spotlight and it looks like there's an actual light easy to do uh, another thing is there is a feature that you can do it's um volumetric lighting um basically all you're gonna have to do click on mesh cube make it as big as your scene like however your scene is like the size of it go inside find your character Then what you're gonna do, click on object, hit new, while you're in cube, while you're in the cube layer, delete this, go to volume, find principled volume, drag that in, drag volume to volume, and then I usually put mine on 0 0.1, or like maybe 0 0.01, and basically all it does is capture the light around the skin. So it just shows little 
like the spots of lighting and you could basically see watch it's just capturing the light wherever it is see the lights showing up that's coming back from over there yeah it's just capturing all light and it'll make um, like on my thumbnail I have a one area where it shows um, I don't know how to explain it it's like it's in it it shows like my character I forgot how to I don't know how to explain it um, it shows like my ninja character I'll just pop it up on the screen but it shows a ninja character and then you see the light from the windows and it's coming in that's how you get stuff like that where you see the light shining in instead of like indirect lighting and stuff but yeah if this tutorial did help you guys leave a like on the video hopefully you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe make sure that you stay tuned because we will have a tutorial on how to port characters and items into fortnite or in a blender and uh yeah thanks for watching the video guys peace out